Functions as representations of real-life situations. Question. How do statisticians, mathematicians, or scientists predict the number of COVID-19 cases in the future? Answer. They use mathematical modeling, and it is in terms of a function, so that it can describe the future of our country with regards to COVID-19. So functions can often be used to model real-life situations. Identifying an appropriate functional model will lead to a better understanding of various phenomena. So that is why if you notice there are lots of postings in Facebook. Ah, in Facebook, there are lots of uh, different mathematical model. Huh? So maybe one of them is an appropriate functional model and can lead to a better understanding of this COVID-19. Now let's have a simple example. No, we will not go to that level for the uh, for a phenomenon. No, let's just have the basic. Let's have the basic knowledge. Now, how do we model a given situation? Now, for number one, let's have this. Give a function C that can represent the cost of buying X meals if one meal costs 40 pesos. So, let's make a table and analyze x as the number of meals and of course c of x as the cost no? cost of buying x meals now if we buy one meal of course we have 40 times one meal right so 40 pesos how about two meals so of course the price times two because you're buying two meals so this is 80 pesos. How about if this is 3? 40 times 3, so you will pay 120 pesos. And so on. So what have you noticed? No? 40 times 1, 40 times 2, 40 times 3. So you note, we can observe that the cost of buying or c of x function c of x is just equal to the price times the number of meals na x so i will write it here c of x is equal to 40 x. so it's just a simple model for a simple real life situation next 100 meters of fencing is available to enclose a rectangular area next to a river. So we have a river and a rectangular area. Give a function A that can represent the value, the area that can be enclosed in terms of X. Now take note, we have a river, this one, and we have, the, these are our fences. No, three, only three sides. So... Take note that in our, in our illustration, we have X and Y. So meaning, when we talk about area, area is length times width. So meaning, since we are using X and Y, so A of X must be X times Y. So A of X must be X times Y. But since we're talking about in uh, A in terms of X, the variable here must be all x so in short we will find an expression for y so we will find an expression for y take note that we are given with a perimeter no 100 meters of fencing so meaning the perimeter is this is also y because this is y no so 2y plus x and this is according to the problem equal to 100 so from here since we're going to find the expression for y from here we will solve for y y as uh, so we have 2y transpose cx so 100 minus x divide by 2 divide by 2 so we have y is equal to 50 minus 
0.5x 8.5x okay, so this is our y hence we can now have our a a of x which is equal to xy substitute y is 50 minus 0.5x so we have a of x is 50x minus 0.5x squared so this is our final answer so the function a of x is equal to 50x minus 0.5x squared next the volume v of a right cylinder of height h and the radius r is obtained by the formula v equals pi r squared h if the height of the cylinder is twice its radius express the volume v as a function of r so we're going to find v of r but the formula for this is pi r squared h so pi is a constant so we have two variables r and h so since this is a function in terms of r we will find an expression for h now let's go back to the problem if the height of the cylinder is twice the radius no? so the height of the cylinder is twice the radius so 2r so meaning we can substitute our h as 2r so this is now 2 pi r cubed so v of r is equal to 2 pi r cubed and next last okay. you are asked to make an open box with a square base using a square shaped cardboard by cutting out a square from each corner and folding up the sides so we have a box square box okay and cutting out a square from each corner so we we'll get one here square so for example these are the square and folding up so pag fold we can create this one a box Okay, a box like that so the side of the square shaped cardboard is 18 inches so since this is a square so this is 18 inches 18 18 and 18 do the following a express the volume v of the box as a function of side x the fun do the side x uh, this is lacking so cutting out a square of each corner this is x this will be our x no a typo so the length of this one the sides of the small x are the squares are x so x x x and x x Okay. so meaning now look at this from here the fold mano we folded out this x so if you fold the x kanang small one so that will be your height this will be your height of the box okay and since there are two sides for every corner so from 18 this will become 18 minus 2x right okay from every corner you will fold 2x this one the x from this side and the x from this side okay and for this side na po, this one this one this one this one so for every corner you no know, of the box 
the side is 18 minus 2x. So this is also 18 minus 2x since this is a square. So when we talk about volume, this must be, so volume of x, volume is length times width times height. So in this case, our length is 18 minus 2x. Our width is also 18 minus 2x. And our height is x. Okay, pag fold mana na, pag fold ni mo, si x man ang fold. So, x ang height. Okay, so we can rewrite this one as 18 minus 2x quantity squared times x. So, pwede na ni. Okay, so that is for letter A. Now, how about for letter B? For letter B, find the volume of the box if a 4-inch square is cut out. So, meaning x is equal to 4. So, from our letter A, we have V of 4 is equal to 18 minus 2 times 4 square times 4 this is times okay we'll start with the inner 18 2 times 4 is 8 then we have square times 4 18 minus 8 is 10 so 10 square times 4 10 square is 100 times 4 so we have 400 cubic inches so this is now the volume of the box if a 4 inch square is cut out and prepare for a short quiz